to just within the past few hours. Fans from all over the world, Celine's neighbors on Jupiter Island, have been waiting for this news. New Channel 5's Liz Nunez is at St. Mary's with all the breaking details. And how are mom and the babies doing, Liz? Good evening, Tanya. Well, I'm glad to report they are both, or the three of them, I should say, are doing fantastic. They have family at their bedside, including Celine's 81-year-old mother who flew from Montreal all the way here to see the babies born. They are still here at St. Mary's. We're told they're out of the ICU now. That's great news. The first baby came in right at 11.11 this morning, the second at 11.12. Doctors wheeled the Canadian singer into the operating room just after 11 this morning uh, to deliver her twins via C-section. If you'll remember, the 42-year-old checked into St. Mary's for observation last week after experiencing signs of labor. At the time, she was just 33 weeks into her pregnancy. As with many mothers expecting twins, doctors had her on strict bed rest. But this afternoon, the twins could not wait any longer. The first baby came in at a healthy 5 pounds, 10 ounces. The second at 5 pounds, 4 ounces. Celine's husband, Rene, was by her bedside the entire time and could not wait to share the news. And I did cut the cords, both cords, and it's the same feeling. And I hope to provide to them all the love that, uh, that I can for as long as I can. Now, no word yet on the baby's names. Uh, they're still waiting for that. They have the entire family, like I said, so I'm sure they'll come up with those names sometime soon. We're also waiting for pictures of the babies. Renee told us that he did not have even think about that yet. They're still in the clouds now that these two beautiful babies were born. We will have more information on this as it comes up, and we'll try to bring you those pictures when we get them. Live in West Palm Beach, Liz Unia, WBTV News, Channel 5. Now to the brand-new updated track of Tropical Storm Richard. Storm Team Meteorologist James Wheeler.